President Trump said this would be the Kavanaugh and the caravan election. Well, tonight, his vice president, Mike Pence, heads to the Southwest campaigning for Republicans. Peter Ducey caught up with the vice president en route to the border town of Yuma, Arizona. Hey, Peter. Shannon, for months, the top issues for midterm voters have been health care and the economy, but there is a new focus on this, on this migrant caravan, and the vice president just told me why. I think millions of Americans know we've got a crisis at our southern border. But this caravan that was organized by leftist organizations in Honduras it made its way through Guatemala. Now thousands of people trying to come up the thousand mile journey through Mexico for the, for the purpose of violating our laws and coming into this country illegally is just unacceptable. The president and I have made it clear we will not allow it. We're going to take steps necessary to secure our border enforce our laws and our message to those in the caravan is return home uh, but but our message to the american people is this caravan is is a reminder of a crisis in illegal immigration that is driven by by laws that human traffickers actually use to entice people to make the long and dangerous journey north you mentioned at the rally as well tonight that these human traffickers and leftist leaders are exploiting loopholes in our laws. They are. I, if the Republican majorities in Congress haven't made the changes to the laws in the last two years, what's the pitch to tell voters that you can trust them to do it in the next two years? Well, the, the message to voters is we've been blocked by liberals in the United States Senate who've stood in the way of, of immigration reform. That 60 vote margin that the president talks about all the time has prevented us from really taking up this issue. I mean, Democrats are opposed to building a wall. They're opposed to securing the border. Uh, there, there are leading voices in the Democratic Party that actually want to abolish immigration and customs enforcement. What President Trump and I know is that the, what the answer to this crisis on our southern border is a wall, it's security, it's supporting the courageous men and women who enforce our laws along the border and throughout our country every day. But it's also changing the laws, ending catch and release, ending the very loopholes that human traffickers exploit every day to entice vulnerable families to make their way north. And could you tell me a little bit more about the phone call that you had with the president of Honduras who told you about the origins of this caravan, at possibly in Venezuela? Well, we, we heard the caravan was forming in Honduras, Peter, and President Trump directed me to call leaders in Central America and tell them about his concern and his desire to see them take action to prevent this caravan from marching north. And what, what the president of Honduras told me is that uh, the caravan was organized by leftist organizations, political activists within Honduras, and he said it was being funded by outside groups and even from Venezuela. And so if the American people, I think, I think, see through this. They understand this is not a spontaneous caravan of vulnerable people, but it was organized uh, by, by human traffickers and, and leftist groups that are, in effect, taking vulnerable people, many elderly, families, children, and marching them north without regard to their safety to make a political point and challenge the sovereignty and the territory of the United States. The vice president stressed to me tonight the migrants in the caravan are not welcome in this country, so he thinks the focus should instead become improving conditions in Central America so people don't want to flee. Shannon? All right. Peter Ducey, thank you very much.